Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in because this is an experiment and we are going to be reacting to season one episode 10 of Fruits Basket. It has been a long time since I've recorded Fruits Basket videos. So last we left off, I'm pretty sure that we met Hatsuharu Soma, who is one of my favorite characters. Obviously a handful, but like not a handful at the same time. That's just on Haru. <laughs> I have no idea uh, what we're going to see in this episode, episode 10, so um, without further ado, I say we get right into this. Because we'll see if I remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare? Seems like it. He can starve if he wants to. They're wearing like blue, blue and pink uh, sweaters. Was that in the manga? I don't think it was, but like, I'm not sure. It looks cute, so I'll take it. I guess it just means like it's getting colder, you know? I honestly have no idea what I'm about to see. It's been so long since I've refreshed my mind on this, so this'll come as a surprise, I guess, whatever it is. It's those little hints in the intro that I know they're going to like do the, do the anime the way it's supposed to be, and that makes me so happy. Oh! That's a letdown. <laughs> the Valentine's Day episode. Chocolates. I was expecting a whole avalanche of them to come spilling Valentine's out. Valentine's Day chocolates to the boy you like. What we have here is a clear case of the cuckoo phenomenon. Yep. Each girl has tossed away the previous girl's chocolates in yep. order to draw attention to her own. <laughs> You're right, wow. But now, like, they all belong to Saki. Like, Saki will just take them up. Swoops yep. in to seize the final sugary offering. I love how the sweaters are all different colors. Like, Hana gets black. So today will be a chocolate-giving frenzy at school. And then you got the blue for Yuki and the pink for Jordan. Phew. Are you okay, buddy? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> right in the middle of... <laughs> he didn't. He held himself back. I wonder. These waves are more innocent than usual. It's odd. What? what? Well, it's got nothing to do with us. Maybe it has something to do with Toru? We shall give them to Yuki. We shall. Is that economics class? That's terrifying, yeah. Like a pack of starving wolves lying in wait for their prey. Uh, okay. Wow. Wow. Co carrots, that girl's in love. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm like super jealous. Is today Jeez. Valentine's Day? Yes. Technically, it's tomorrow. I'm going home. What? Oh. Right. I'll go on a trip. Get out of town. I'll see you suckers later. <laughs> Don't know where you think you're going, but your desk is over there. Maybe dyeing that orange hair would help curb your disobedience. I'm so glad she showed up. Unless you want a makeover, I suggest you sit down. She threatened to dye his hair black. <laughs> Something more serious than being afraid of girls. Maybe he has a bad Valentine's Day memory. I remember, I remember what it is now. You look kind of nervous. What's wrong? Oh. Yep. <laughs> run. Run fast, run far, and run away. <laughs> run, 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 run. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so this was all about trying to avoid Kagura. Yes, it was. An important day for couples to spend together. Now, she's a good cook, so did she actually make something nice? Let's spend the day together. I want to give you your chocolates then, too. That sounds like a real date. <laughs> There's no way. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. To go out on some dumb Valentine's date. I'm with you. Well, that hurts. <laughs> Make it stop. This is cute and all. She's stringing him along. Flirting elsewhere. <laughs> Shut up. It's not flirting. Here's your team. Right. Yuki and Toto with us. Right. A, a double, double date. date. Yeah. Wait just a second. I'm not... He's like, ah. Uh... <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't mind? Well, that settles it, doesn't it? Just to make her happy. Haru told me something. Uh oh? If you get to know each other, you'll actually become friends. Haru's got a lot of insight, so. And what do you know about it? A little bit more than you think, I think. I hate his guts and I always will. All of you should just accept that. You're getting a little worked up, aren't you? It almost sounds like you feel obligated to hate him. Bingo. Are you scared of what might happen if you actually got to know him? Something happened? She get a like why did you have to do that though? Impatient with Kyo. Impatient? Or are you showing your true colors at last? I honestly don't remember though. He really did look like he was scared. Oh, that looks I mean it looks cute, but I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> this hatred. He's using it to protect something. What happened back there? Forget it. I mean he's definitely not using it to protect Yuki. Is he using it to protect himself? Who knows? I've been hoping you two could learn to get along. It's fine if you can't. I can see it. 
Lena's day. A plum. Soma's great, but the thing is, so are you. <laughs> I don't want to see. I don't want to think about anything. Yeah. The expressions! They capture Toru's expressions flawlessly. A single touch might bruise them. Yeah, Yuki is a fragile soul. You you really don't understand. <laughs> uh, what did you do that for? That that did not look like it hurt. The pain they hold inside. The fear. Someday, I hope I can help wipe it all away. I want them to be happy too. I love you, Toru. You're so pure. I dreamed about the one I love. Is that him as a kid? And that was that. It was all over for me. Shigure. Shigure as a kid. I'm not sure how long we'll be. Go! You kids enjoy yourselves. Don't be a cheapskate. No splitting the bill, okay? Wasn't planning on it. Aw, you're gonna pay for her. Are you sure you don't mind going over to the main estate? We're gonna get some Shigure backstory this episode, maybe. You just stay away from the estate. <laughs> Little does he know she's already been there. Oh yeah, that's right. If we're going, let's go. Right, come in. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, you mystery of a person? Wise, manipulative though, loyal. Don't you dare run off before I get there. I think that's the same person as the editor. It would be such a shame to disappoint her. But you love disappointing her. And Shigure is always smiling, so I have a difficult time telling whether or not I'm causing trouble for He's, her. he's really like this... Not many people know what's going on in... Exactly. He's a mystery. He's like a ripple on the water. It tickles your feet, but when you reach down to touch it, it leaves. Yeah, that's good. That's a good uh, description. If you ask me, he's the jellyfish waiting to sting you. It seems like Yuki just takes the time to jab at everybody except Toru. Who knows what kind of things he's plotting on the inside. <laughs> it's mostly mischievous stuff. And yours truly. <laughs> the door slams shut of its own accord. Idiot. It's like, yeah, I'll take it, okay. We're all going out on a double date together. That's certainly unexpected. Yes, it is. Logan, a no! So hard, it's too late to save him. Wait, look! It's like Pokemon, it's Pokemon. <laughs> They're both like, oh no. Yep. <laughs> I maybe kind of sort of picked on Kyo yesterday. Toru went after him and brought him back. And he seemed almost normal. She has some sort of tranquilizing effect on those two. Not like you. Things are going exactly as you planned them. Why do I detect a note of criticism in your voice when you say that? Because he is criticizing you. You shameless liar. You and Akito both. She's a pawn you two are using in some kind of I elaborate mean, game. For Akito, maybe. For Shigure, uh, maybe only half right. Do you remember that morning? The dream? We all woke from it crying. You, me, Aya. Oh my gosh, that's right. For you two, it became something twisted and painful. But for me, those feelings still linger, unfaded. That affection, passion, so yeah. thrillingly sweet and sad. I want it to last forever. I want to give it form and make it mine. And that vow is still right here. If I have to lie or manipulate a few people along the way, then so be it. It's yeah. a small price to pay, There's even if someone price. gets hurt. First mention of Aya. <sighs> She's just good, through and through. Yeah. She helps for those two. Not like any of the people in the Zodiac. They all have some sort of selfish quality. That mine might be the filthiest soul of all. Find myself feeling jealous of you. And I wonder if maybe I'm the most cursed of us. No, don't say that. <laughs> it's definitely not you. Tell Honda I said thank you for the chocolates when you get home. Aww. Whatever outcome you're aiming for, you had better yeah, be prepared to plan, lose a buddy? tooth. Yuki or Kyo, maybe even Honda, one of them is bound to punch you in the face before this all plays out. I don't care for pain, but I'll take it. I won't be your ally in this. Hattori is, is neutral territory. You're not the only one. My hands are dirty as well. Yeah. They can have a few teeth. Bones if they want them. Akito. Well, that isn't surprising. That voice. Since I care about you, most of all. Dang. I will get what I want, no matter what lies I have to tell. A loyal dog. That's the thing about Shigure. He's the dog, so he's loyal. But you gotta question who he's loyal to. Such a shy boy. <laughs> How is she stronger than him? Who's... Oh, hey, excuse no. me. Michan. Nothing matters now. Michan. I'm ready to end my worthless. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put that down. Put that down. <laughs> Her voice. 
What? Her hair is her hair is different. Why did you do it? You Why is her hair that color? If that's her original hair color, then okay. If her hair is graying because of Shigure, then cool. So, do I get some? I'm actually making them right now. Aww. I want them to be perfect for you. Seriously, just like your goodness is overwhelming. I am humbled by your presence. <laughs> Don't you care about it? My work? Not that much, really. <gasps> See, that makes me want to punch him. I'll follow you to the end of the earth if I have to. That's a scary prospect. Yes, it is, isn't it? Go ahead. Catch me if you can. So... I don't, I, I don't know if they'll address this in the next episode, but I will say this because it's like a side thing. It's not really important to the plot, but Shigure is a novelist. That's what I aspire to be when I finish the book I'm writing, of course, because I am writing a book, a trilogy, hopefully. However, the genres in which we write, Shigure and I, I mean, are very different. <laughs> so there's that. So when he said, like, I don't like my work that much, I kind of just wanted to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just wanted to take the stack of papers he was- that were next to him and just- One of my biggest joys is writing, so. First mention of Aya. We're this close. Oh, jeez. For those of you wondering why I'm reacting the way that I am. <laughs> next episode, we're going with, uh, some lighthearted banter. Good, I look forward to that. Basically, we got some Shigure backstory. Utterly devoted to Akito. Now that I'm- I guess beholding Akito's voice more and more. It's interesting because the voice that was in the original anime, it was not faint. It was kind of normal sounding. Like I, I don't, I don't want to bash the the voice actor because he did amazing. From what I can remember of Akito's bo voice back then, it was it was just chilling and very spooky and 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 creepy. This voice is different. Like honestly, not what I expected <laughs> when I heard it. I was like. I was pleased and I'm glad that they're going with a different route than they did in the original anime but this one is softer and more sickly kind of raspy almost and tired and I feel like that makes more sense for Akito's character. A Akito's not a very active uh, sort of person let's just say. Very weak but a lot of power you might say, over the zodiacs. And I know a bunch of people are probably wondering, well, what's Akito's zodiac animal? Who does Akito represent? And I can't answer that. <laughs> That'd be uncouth of me. Nice to see Shigure finally open up. I mean, even in the manga, like when I read the manga back then, I was a, a tiny, a tiny teenager that didn't know much about the world. The, the the thing I really saw him as most of all is like this funny, just sort of comic relief character who's very kind, but at the same thing tries at the same time tries to make light of everything. It wasn't until very deep into the manga, not this early, by the way, that I started to pick up on hints that Shigure wasn't as, as lighthearted and, and jokester trickstery as thought he was, and that there was actually some ploy going on between him and Akito, and it kind of revolved around Toru and Yuki and Kyo. <sighs> Hattori is just neutral ground throughout this entire uh, story. I love him all the same because he has a kind heart. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's all I got for, uh, for Hattori. For people that have no idea why I reacted the way that I did when uh, Toru's teacher shows up, see if I can remember her. <laughs> Her name, what is her name? I think it was like Miyuki or something. The, the teacher's name is Mayuko, not Miyuki. Although I was close. Um, and the reason why I got so happy when I saw her is because in most anime, especially the ones that revolve around school, the teachers don't really have a voice, nor do they have a personality. This anime is different. She actually has a tiny, small arc all to herself. So I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy for her. And she has a great personality. She's like, uo. Just a bit. I think that's it for this episode. I loved how Kyo and Yuki are like, this movie is for kids. Oh my god, this movie is for kids. And Toru and Kagura are just, ah, ah, so sad. They are probably watching Pokemon or something, I don't know. Oh, speaking of which, Kyo is afraid to get to know people. He's afraid to get to know Yuki specifically. I don't remember what that flashback was about. In fact, I don't remember a lot of what that flashback was. I can, can, I can think of like several things that it might have been, but I'm not going to say any of them. But yeah, Kyo uses his hatred to protect not only himself, but I'm pretty sure everybody else around him. Sad, selfless boy. <laughs> I wish I could expand on that. I really wish I could, but I gotta keep my mouth shut. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. You don't have to, but it would be cool if you did. It really does help me out because I'm planning on 
making this uh, channel a source of income. Yeah, comment below on your theories. I'll include a little uh, a little spoiler tag that we can all talk about spoilers there and, and not like spoil the anime only. So thank you so much for staying and have a nice day.